So you want to trade stocks that are in the New York Stock Exchange or listed in NASDAQ, for example, US-based stocks, but you're not a US citizen or maybe you don't even live in the US. Well, I've got you covered because I've spent some time researching which are the best brokers that accept both US visas and people who don't live in the US as a whole. So here's a list of a couple of brokers that are gonna accept you along with specifications such as any fees or any nationalities they don't accept. So let's go. So let's jump right in. If you have a US visa other than a visitor visa and an address in the US, chances are you're gonna be able to open an account with most well-known brokers. It may take slightly longer for your account to get approved. It may take you actually calling them rather than just filling out an online form, but you will get your account approved unless the broker specifically says that they really don't want foreigners of any kind, which is pretty rare to see. So for people on US visas who live in the US, there's a couple of brokers that I know for sure will accept you. Among them, there is Webull, for example, which gives you two free stocks for opening your account and depositing up to $100. You can find the link down in the description. There's also Charles Schwab, which also gives you an $100 bonus if you deposit at least $1,000 in your account. There's also a link down in the description for that. And then there's all the brokers, which I am about to mention. So now, what if you don't have a US visa and you don't live in the US at all? Well, there are a couple brokers that will accept certain nationalities without any sort of social security number or US visa. Of course, your research does not end with this video. You may have to go into their websites, go into their terms and conditions and see exactly which nationalities may approve since obviously their terms and conditions and their approved nationalities are always subject to change. With that being said, let's jump straight into the list of some brokers that I've found that accept a lot of nationalities without even a social security number. So first up in the list, we have Sogo Trade. Now I've personally never used Sogo Trade, and the reason why is because they charge commissions for trading. Back in the day, almost every broker used to charge a certain commission, maybe five, maybe ten dollars, whenever you did a trade. Nowadays, most brokers have removed those fees. However, Sogo Trade is of the few I've ever seen that keeps these commissions going. The fact is, for every stock trade you do in Sogo Trade, you're gonna have to pay. $2.88 of commission. And for any stocks that are worth less than $100, your minimum purchase must be over $100. So if you have a really, really small budget when it comes to investing in stocks, this is not the broker for you. However, they do accept a wide range of people who don't necessarily need to have a social security number. They accept a lot of people from Latin America, especially some notable exceptions and nationalities being Mexico, Canada, Colombia, and Venezuela. Next up in the list is a Canadian firm called Interactive Brokers. Interactive Brokers is actually top notch in terms of quality. Their platforms are really user friendly and they offer a wide range of tools for you to use right in your brokerage. Interactive Brokers charges a fee of $0.005 per stock you're buying up to a maximum of 1% of your total order. But here's exactly what makes interactive brokers even less accessible for some people. If your account has less than $2,000 in it, you're gonna get charged a fee unless you reach $20 worth of commission every month. And if your account has less than $100,000, then you're gonna get charged unless you reach $10 of commission every single month. This means that interactive brokers is a fantastic tool for those who have a very, very high net worth and who have to invest a ton of money at a time in US markets. Otherwise, for people with small budgets, I feel like that commission and those fees are gonna eat away at your money really quickly. The one caveat is that they do in fact accept such a wide range of nationalities that even if other brokers don't accept yours, it's most likely that interactive brokers will. So apply at your own caution based on your own budget for investing and make sure that the fees are not eating away your whole investment portfolio. Next up is a broker that I personally really love and have stuck with for many years, and that is First Trade. First Trade accepts a really wide range of nationalities. Opening your account is fairly straightforward, and if you're looking to trade options, they're one of the better platforms I've seen for trading options specifically. The best part about First Trade is that they're the first broker in this list to have completely commission-free trading for both stocks and other things such as options contracts. They also offer things such as IRAs, 
or mutual funds, which you can buy at your own discretion, though they have some different terms and conditions to them. First Rates platform is a little bit rudimentary. You won't be getting as many research tools, for example, or as many little add-ons to your brokerage, but you will be getting incredibly quick trades. First Rate knows what it wants to be, and it sets out to do exactly that. Besides, I already do most of my research outside of my brokerage anyways, so I really don't have any reason to use First Rate for more than just buying and selling stocks and options. As with all the other brokerages in this list, you can find the link for First Rate down in the description. Their Android and iOS apps recently went through a complete revamp and redesign, and they've slowly become one of my favorite trading apps to use. Despite the fact that First Trade lacks features, they've been showing with all these updates to their Android and iOS apps that they're willing to improve and to add new features. So I look forward to what the app will have to offer maybe in a couple of years from now. Last but definitely not least is TD Ameritrade. Definitely one of the better known and most well-established brokers out there. TD Ameritrade is a powerhouse. It gives you a lot of research tools, very quick updates, very quick trades, and it gives you all without any commissions. They do have certain exceptions for certain nationalities where they'll accept you only if you have a certain visa type. However, if you do qualify for TD Ameritrade, they are an excellent option to go for. I also use TD Ameritrade along with First Trade, and the fact is I've been very happy with both trading platforms. So if a person creates an account with either of these, I feel like you would be pretty happy. If you want a more complete package, you can use TD Ameritrade. If you want a more simple package that just gets you trading stocks and you want to do all your research externally, which is what I personally recommend since you should never rely on just one source, then you should probably go for first trade. There's probably other brokers that accept US citizens that I haven't mentioned yet. If you know of any, please, please, please comment down below and let me and everyone else watching this video know about this because we want people to be able to have access to the US markets and invest their money. If it's gonna make a difference for someone, then it's definitely worth knowing. So if you like this video and you want more content like this, please remember to drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications every time I post a new video. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm, so I appreciate each and every single person who does this. With that said, I hope you find this video useful. I hope someone can get some free stocks or free money with the links down below, and I'll see you on the next one.